on the intake climber system. Um, what we hope this will do is intake balls over a bumper into our hopper, but also be robust enough to be the climbing mechanism and support the robot. Um, where we are, we've cut all the metal. Um, we still need to cut bearing holes and acquire a hex shaft, a steel hex shaft, so it doesn't bend, and we'll have that done tomorrow. working on a uh, on our system for uh, working with the gears so uh, our plan for the final design is uh, to be able to go up to the uh, loading station to drop a gear down and uh, this being well the system is actuated forward so that it's uh, at, so that it's at a better angle for the gear to go into the uh, into the robot uh, then it would actuate back we'd bring it over to the uh, over to the airship and we'd, we'd pretty much just drive up into the peg. There'd be a slot in the, uh, in the gear system so that uh, the, pe the pilot can just uh, use the peg lift to pull the gear out of the system. Uh, where we're at right now is we're still in the prototyping phase but we're getting very close to a final design. We are working on a few things right now with just getting the sizing right so that we can use up the smallest amount of space as possible and the robot will still having a comfortable angle to do the whole system reliably. So I've been working on the shooter mechanism we have here. We have a decent prototype kind of going. We've been mostly working on trying to get it so the ball is always in contact with the wheel as it's going through. Um, basically what we're going to have is a piece of plexi going through and we're working on some of the also spacing issues to make sure that we always have good contact because at this point the ball can kind of sneak through the center here and with having this wider it allows us to have more than one ball going through at a time which this year a lot of balls being processed is going to be key.